Thank you, President. Food prices have reached an historic high in Europe for the seventh time in succession. And if you try and explain that uh, price, there are short-term factors, bad weather conditions in certain countries, such as Russia and Argentina, but there are other structural factors now. And that's why I'm bringing these two factors to your attention. First of all, some producers and consumers of, of food, well, you have exporting countries becoming importers, China being one example. And the other factor is the, the clout of certain multinationals who can manipulate prices for their own benefit. Cereals are a very clear example. Six multinationals dominate that sector. This creates great uncertainty for farmers regarding the price of their foodstuffs. Europe, therefore, needs to return to something it stopped doing a long time ago, that's to say protecting its own producers and consumers. In a world where everyone is resorting to some form of protection or another, with the multinationals manipulating prices, we must n no longer allow ourselves to be naive.